Howdy friends, Guthrie Trap here coming to you again from East Nashville, Tennessee. Hey, uh, again, thanks so much to everybody that's been giving me some uh, great positive feedback on the comments and all that. Really appreciate it. Glad that this stuff is working and making sense for you. Uh, you know, if you do want to um, subscribe, and I hate to do the sales pitch, but I got to do it um, just to, you know, keep the lights on and all that stuff. If you want to subscribe, please do. Links are below. Um, if you want to do a private uh, lesson or a Skype lesson, you can email me at bookings at guthrietrap.com. Um, and I'll, that's all I'll say about that. This lesson, I think, is going to tie in really well. After doing a lot of private lessons lately, I'm really starting to see uh, what's working and what, what people are, are digging and what they really need help on. Uh, this is going to be a, a really cool lesson. So I'm... I'm going to explain a little bit here about some target notes because I've been noticing a lot of guys lately, um, they know the pentatonic, uh, which is great. We're going to work out a C and we're going to work like maybe something that would be like C to A minor. And I know this would be better with a backing track, but, but uh, I haven't got that far yet and soon, hopefully. But you'll, you'll get a lot out of this anyway. We're going to be working out of just, we're going to get really simple here. We're going to work out of the C uh, chord, but we're going to work out of the G shape. Which is so much great guitar stuff right there. All the Hendrix stuff. But that shape, I mean, there's just a lot of stuff uh, really happening right there. So with that pentatonic shape, and I'm sliding down to my C there, because this puts me in a weird position. So I'm gonna I'm gonna slide down to this. creates a nice uh, position for me. I don't, I don't like ending here. Uh, I mean, it's not bad, but it just doesn't set you up as well as, as going down there. So, my, my whole uh, focus on this lesson is to show you some, some, some starting and stopping places, some, some real, real key notes to land on, out of the chord shape, of course, and then looking at the pentatonic shape, but it's also a little lesson in phrasing uh, as well, so uh, we'll just get into it here. I'm going to start on my my uh, my my five, my G, and I'm just going to play the simplest thing I can. Right, that's really really simple, but that's a complete phrase. Right, it has a start. So I'm targeting that C note, my tonic, my one of that chord. I'm targeting that note, but instead of just going right to it and hitting that, I'm actually leading up to it with some, you know, some melodic content. And so instead of just going, I'm going. Like I said, a little bit melodic, a uh, little bit of melodic content around there. So if I do this, you know, you could start here. We're just wanting to have a starting place. Now that's a phrase right there. Solid uh, place to, to 
to, to end. Uh, and you can start there too. Sometimes I like to start on the five like we just did. To get to the one. And then... got a little bit of a middle section and then I'm ending so that's the phrase uh, so uh, that's phrasing so you you want to be able to 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 really 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 hone in on on where you're starting and where you're ending because I'm seeing a lot of guys kind of paint themselves into a corner where you start and they might end right there which that's not that kind of leaves you high and dry uh, there's not really an ending spot there. So if I was going to do something like uh, where, I, where I'm, I'm going up, if I hit that two, well, go up back, go up to your three, your major third, because the major third is going to be another really good ending spot. You can end, you can end your phrase on the third. You can start your phrase on the third. So the one, the five, and the three. target notes. Everything else around there is just a, a, a bridge to get there and, and it bends your ear to get to those notes to resolve to. So once again, I'm going to build on this shape right here. So that time I went up to the third. Nice melody. something like um, this would be like a Mark Knopfler or a Vince Gill type bend right so just right up the the, the C shape your C chord a shape so one of uh, five one three It's not a one, it's not the three, it's kind of, it's, it's the... 
is that A note, you're kind of just in limbo there. So again. starting and the stopping so um again starting on the, the the five down here and i'll try to keep it now in in this area and i don't know we're building on this we're kind of building on this shape here if i start on the three let's let's get back to this uh, starting on the g i'll start on the three now so that's our three third there. 
there or a minor uh, pentatonic mixed in. <laughs> giving you some, some examples of what I would do over this stuff. Uh, pretty major. I started slipping in a little blues. I couldn't help it. But but um, just giving you an idea of what these phrases sound like and what ending and starting. Um, you know, you just want to, you really want to outline that that one, three, five. So um, again, getting back to that, just a little, those little ideas just like that. because it's Friday evening and it's time to get out and have some dinner. Uh, everybody knows I love to wine and dine, so if you come to Nashville and you want to have some dinner, call me. I know all the best places. Uh, thanks again for the, for the great feedback, friends. Um, I really appreciate it. And uh, I wanted to kind of just start incorporating some musicality. I know I've shown a bunch of stuff on uh, chord shapes and stuff like that, but I want to start now getting into a little bit more of, of what you can do with those. If you want a private lesson, Always happy to help, not giving you the sales pitch, but uh, I'm always here for that, and, uh, and I've, I've been having a lot of fun and getting some great feedback from that too. So thanks a bunch, friends. Looking forward to seeing you soon, and uh, have a great weekend. All right, thanks. Bye.